how I went from this quarantine mess to this. If after four months in quarantine your hair is dry and your color is old like mine was, then keep watching this video for a conditioning DIY hair color. So I got my hair cut from the salon after it opened here in Toronto and I got a fringe or bangs, good old bangs. It's looking like a complete mess, I know, of course, I haven't styled it and also my hair colour is so old so like always I'm gonna DIY it, starting off by just detangling your hair with a comb. Now I'm gonna section my hair like this from the top of my ear all the way till the back and just tie it up. So I have both sides of the bottom half in front and now let's dig into the colour. I went for a rich black by Overtone and this is a colouring conditioner, it's for all hair types, it's vegan and it's free of sulphates. Believe it or not, this is not sponsored, they have sent me this because I mentioned to them that I'm looking to try their product as I liked what it sounded like and it was every bit as amazing as I thought it would be. It smells amazing and they also give latex free gloves, it's a healthy hair colour. While I did try on some other colours which did not really do anything for my hair as my hair is dark, this is a jet black colour and something that I really wanted since a long time. So I'm just gonna go right into my dry hair with my fingers and just run it through the length of my hair all the way to the bottom. Um, make sure you're covering each and every strand, you know, just mix it around with your fingers and once you're done with the lower sections, you can go in, open up the other part, section it again and do it in small sections. I'm obviously no professional as you can see and so I'm struggling a bit with the sectioning but uh, yeah, the more you detangle your hair, the easier it's going to be for the hair colour to reach each strand and from my past experience of hair colouring, a lot of the hair sometimes just doesn't get the colour because you feel like, oh, the top part has it and it feels you know, squishy but the fact is that the inside hair just hasn't caught on to the colour so make sure you're like really mixing it up and getting each strand saturated. Out of all the colours that I've tried, the black performed the best because of course my hair was lighter so if you want to try a different bright colour, make sure your hair is lighter, use a bleach or if your hair is naturally light then great. So just putting it on my fringe and remember when you get closer to your scalp, don't let it touch your actual scalp because it will stain it and that just looks really weird. I've made that mistake. This does stain your skin slightly, not for a long time but still if you don't want it to be even for a day then just make sure you're careful. So each time you wash your hair, the colour fades a little and that's why they have daily conditioners in two different sizes. All you have to do is replace your normal conditioner with this one. Use it just like your normal conditioner and your colour will look refreshed. So once I've coloured my hair for the first time, now I'm going to tie it up. They've said leave it for 10 to 15 minutes but I left it for 30. Washed it and this is the final result. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and hit the bell button if you haven't. I will see you all in my next one super soon. Bye! Thank you.